Virgo. This is actually a really extraordinarily productive week. But there's some stuff that you have to be on the lookout for. It's not like a warning, but it's on the lookout for. Virgo, this is your weekly tarot card reading mixed with astrology from Born Without Boundaries to Row. Um, there's always an extended reading. It is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, so check it out. Um, I will attach the link. I will I will put the link for the extended readings in the description box that way at the top, as well as pin them to um, the top of the comment section so it's easy for you guys to find. Or you can decide... Virgo to join the Unbound membership. Um, and the Unbound membership here on uh, YouTube gets you access to all, uh, unlimited access to all the extended readings plus all the channel perks, including personal live members only chats with me. So check that out. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell um, so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Virgo content comes out every single week at, on Fridays at 8 o'clock a.m. That's Pacific time. So hopefully you guys will get notified there. And um, remember to like this video. If you like it, I always watch these videos on YouTube and I swear to God, I forget to like them. So please remember to like this video. It really helps out the algorithm. Leave your comments below. I want to know what you feel about what's going on in the readings. Um, and I do live daily tarot card readings. If you want to join, the link is right above um, to my second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. So let's get into it, dudes. Um, Truth Transcends Illusion came out in reverse immediately. So ultimately, this is kind of like either feeling oppressed, feeling like you can't speak your mind, or that it's still clouded, which makes sense because Mercury for the first couple of days, Mercury is going to be still um, opposite Neptune, but it's a real clusterfuck for the couple for Friday and into Saturday because during this time, Mercury is opposite both Neptune and Jupiter, which might, means your mind is scattered in a half a dozen directions. It wants to get things done, but it's also clouded by a bunch of other stuff. Either it's distracted or it's clouded by kind of delusional thoughts or stuff that isn't really real or stuff that it could be just fantasy daydreaming, but it could also be like stuff that it, it was inaccurate information. So you want to really be wary of making important decisions right now but don't worry fear not because the new moon is coming in virgo mercury has gone into libra that impacts mercury a great deal because it's back in air now which means that you will be very diplomatic that's that's how libra energy impacts mercury so honestly don't even try to make decisions now. The real strength, the real power is to be able to collect information, see both sides of the situation, be very, like, Mercury in Libra is like a natural diplomat. So it's a really good time to take in information and, and just see what both sides have to say and not make decisions, especially if you're getting that little, like, mm, nagging feeling inside of you that says, mm, something ain't right here. There is kind of a tense relationship this week with Saturn again, which means you could get some pressures from your boss asking you to do too much at the same time, trying to overcrowd you with work or, you know, handle decisions that aren't even your responsibility. Um, but you will have this trust trying to Merc to Mars, which is going to make you kind of want to get things done and see if you can. So watch for people playing on that because honestly, your boundaries are really, really important to set and hold firm this week. So that's the astrology. This concerns me. I'm going to I'm going to dig into it for you. Of course I am. Um, truth transcends illusion in reverse means there's something that's being kept from you. So somebody is trying to blow a little bit of smoke up your ass. I'm just going to say it right there. That's why you don't want to go in right now, Virgo, and make all any really important decisions until that whole thing with Neptune is nice and cleared. Like, wait until, like, midweek, okay? Because somebody is trying to blow up smoke up your ass. They don't want you to know the complete truth, which means they don't want to want you to make an informed decision. So, bam. You know what I'm saying? Um, set healthy boundaries. I actually didn't even see this card when I said it, but yeah, that's definitely, and you guys are great at setting boundaries and you guys will like trust that nagging feeling inside of you. That's making you feel uncomfortable. And as soon as it comes up, bam, boundary, like set them. But also at the same time, this could be being overprotective. Now I don't, I, okay. I'm, 
I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say that because I don't think that that's what it is. Because um, this card can be healthy boundaries are correct boundaries, right? They're the appropriate boundaries for every situation. Some situations don't need any boundaries at all. And if you're putting up the Great Wall of China, all you're doing is blocking yourself in. So that's not a healthy boundary, right? Um, but I feel like this is like you're getting too much thrown at you. You're taking too much responsibility on you, and you need to like push that back. That's kind of what where it's coming from now. Then we have freedom is yours. That's interesting because that's Aquarius energy. Um, I want to understand that a little bit more. Clear out the clutter, which is actually getting rid of things. Freedom is, oh, now I understand it. Okay, <laughs> now I understand all these three together. You're not going to let yourself feel things that you can't control or feel things that you really don't have any responsibility for. This is like catching feelings for shit that is like almost feeling guilty for stuff that, that should never have been your responsibility to begin with. And you're learning how to put that down emotionally and let that go. It's feeling, it's the feeling of feeling responsible for everyone and everything. And the astrology supports that. So understand that that's something you're going to have to be very wary of. And that freedom is yours when you allow yourself to just clear out the shit that is actually not important to you. This is not usually difficult for you guys to do, but this week it is because of that messed up relationship to Neptune and that rather challenging opposition to Jupiter, where, which can be very fruitful if you can like focus yourself down on one thing, but with Mercury in Libra right now, it's not going to be that easy. You're going to want to try to make things work for everybody too much on your plate do not do not do not I'm gonna tell you you're gonna be craving you're gonna be craving freedom and the best way is to clear out the clutter what does clear out the clutter mean this is this is cancerian energy so it is uh, emotional um, it's also like think of it new moon um, in Virgo on Saturday this is a big one for you this is a time to clear out your garden Clear out all the things that, all the weeds that have been growing that have been eating off of your fertilizer and drinking your water. Like you want to go into your garden. Yes, this is a metaphor. And you want to clear all that crap out. So the stuff that you want to plant or that so that you have room to plant what you want to plant and what you want to see grow. This is essential. It's essential because you don't want all that to choke and you're at risk for doing that in this energy because <laughs> It's not as easy as it normally would be for you to be able to parse things out and distribute them and, you know, delegate responsibility. It's just not that, it's not that easy. It's because the astrology is making it challenging and it's just what you have to realize. So taking one thing at a time is essential and clearing out the crap that you don't need. And this, you could actually impact this. Leo got this too. You could use the physical world to impact the spiritual world through this message, through this um, piece of advice that you're getting from spirit. It's saying all that shit that's like been coagulating in your home that you do not use, you have got to physically get rid of it. It would be a fantastic exercise for you, maybe physically, definitely spatially, but absolutely spiritually for you to take all those things you do not use and get rid of them. There's too much in your house that you've been holding on to, and that's realistic. But metaphorically, that's going to have to help you expel all those emotions and those attachments and those feelings of obligation to all this crap and all everything that this crap is connected to just getting rid of it things are in the past let them go it'll it'll provide you such a wonderful sense of freedom and get a lot off your plate that you need on your plate because somebody is definitely trying to throw some shit on your plate right all the world's problems are not your problems. You do not have to heal the world all by yourself. You don't have to heal your community. You don't even have to heal your family all by yourself. You are putting too much pressure on everything that you are. And ultimately, breathe. Mercury is back in an air sign. Please take time to do some meditation exercises, some breathing, some yoga. Breath work is really grounding when Mercury is in an air sign. So try it. Try it. Try it. And before you speak... Before you promise yourself away or say yes or even no, 
take a breath, take a breather, take a second, and let that air get into your head so that it can be as clear as possible on the decision that you're making. So we, that's our foundation. We have you see clearly, ah, after I took the breath, right? You saw that, you saw how that happened. So you see clearly is seeing the truth, seeing things for what it is, and also seeing the intent it could even be that you're starting to see that the crowd, the crowd or whoever you're a part of was delusional and incorrect. Maybe you unfortunately got into a set of people who were extremists or who were taking things too personally or had made decisions based on clouded, clouded information and you're standing outside of it seeing very clearly. Comment below because I would really like to know if this is happening to you because this is really specific but it, it could very well be what's happening to you so it's almost like an objective observer and you're you're lost in this cloud of shit but somehow you're aware that you're lost in this cloud of shit and that what you're being told or what you've been making decisions on 11 11 is not correct and you are awakening to it this could also be the time when you just awaken to it. So you just realize it and something comes into focus. And then it's your decision, what do you do once you see it? Like what's the choice that you're gonna make once you see? Um, be here now, that's Libra energy. See the beauty in the moment. This could also be that even though somebody was blowing smoke up your ass, it could be that they have, there's feelings or there's some sort of romantic energy there or you never saw it before. Or maybe you thought you had feelings for somebody and you're finally realizing, ew, who they really are and you weren't judging them. Like, this will clear it up. This but is definitely Libra energy. It's definitely aesthetically pleasing, like falling in love with somebody's beauty, the beauty itself making you happy. But is that enough? Was that just an illusion that created a delusion in your mind to think that somebody was worth more than they really were? And now you gotta start start to set boundaries with them because a motherfucker's taking advantage of your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like the cute boss or the handsome boss coming and asking you for way too much and they're flirting with you and you're enjoying it so much that you're not realizing that you're doing way too much and you are not paid for this shit. It's kind of like that. You could all of a sudden realize that you have been duped by somebody's aesthetics or by even just like not even a person, just pretty concepts. Like the, the concept or the idea sounded so nice. It sounded so pretty. It sounded so perfect. And guess what? Ain't no damn thing that is perfect. Okay? Just saying. Um, believe in the impossible. What is this impossible? Like you let me know. I would love to know. Um, believe in the impossible because it's about to happen. It's about to become very, very clear. Something that you may have thought was not even possible is going to show itself to you. Um, and I think it's going to go pop. I think it's just going to go pop. I think it's, <laughs> it's going to just come out. This is definitely moon energy. Watch around the moon, around this moon time. But something is kind of really just bursting or something. I, I don't know. That's what I'm getting though. Um, emotions. Seeing somebody, seeing feelings or realizing that now all of a sudden it's clear maybe why somebody has been doing things for you. Like, it's like all of a sudden somebody's true intentions come true. It doesn't, I mean, come clear. Or your true intentions come clear even if you've been trying to talk around them or hide them. So it's a big reveal of these emotions coming out and anything that you've been trying to hide behind, it's, that's what it is. Anything that you've been trying to hide behind is like, a stampede of wild horses and they're flinging it to the side Virgo you you're not going to be able to hide behind anything anymore everything is like the fog is lifting and everything is becoming very clear it doesn't mean bad I, I can't tell you it's red flag because it's not red flag it could be really cute stuff it could be really awesome I don't know you let me know in the comments below was this a good thing was this a bad thing but either way it's the revelation so major revelations are coming to you this week. Holy shit, you're ready. You got this. Maybe on some level, you've kind of been aware of it for a while. Um, this is definitely Libra energies because it says to be fair. 
Um, to be fair, what is that? Balancing things out, being equal, finding an equal, come back, come to the edge, and no place like home. The hell is all that? I know this means you're ready, or you maybe you've been preparing yourself. You've been trying to, and she has the owl on her head too. So uh, very diplomatic, being able to see what is right and what is balanced, because poised is also balanced. Come to the edge is weird. It's almost, it's like you're ready to confront this, is what the cards are saying. Even though this might shock you, you are ready to confront it. There's a kind of preparedness in you. There's a comfort in you too. And you see that new moon behind there? Stay close to home. Stay close to where your heart is. And what seeds do you want to plant that you really, really want to manifest? This is a growing season for you. It's a planting season for you. And what you're going to harvest like next year. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you're ready. You're ready for something you finally found maybe an equal opportunity or an equal offer, something that is you've been preparing for for a while. This could be when you finally see the perfect offer or get the perfect offer. Something comes through really perfectly for you. No place like home is you see where you belong, you see where you fit in, or you can finally crystal clear see at least what's what's right. Um, what you want, where you want to be. Hold on. Mm. Clarify this dragonfly, please. What is this dragonfly? What is truth transcends illusion? What What is that? Why is that in reverse, God? Why is truth transcends illusion in reverse? Something to do with work. Because somebody really does appreciate who you are and what you contribute. Somebody really does, or they, they know how good your fucking work is. They just weren't acknowledging it because probably they wanted to pay you too little. That's it. Those motherfuckers, they, you, now you know how much they value you and you know how important you are. And that's what it's going to show you is all this crap that they're layering on you, you know, and they're not telling you the truth about it. But what you see is how fucking dependent on you they are. You're seeing by all that crap that they value you. It's about time, Virgo. You're going to see real clearly that they are susceptible and vulnerable. Go in and ask for a raise. Because you sure as hell are not getting paid. And what did I say? Wasn't that interesting that even though I was just channeling it, I said to you, I said to you about this boss, about the cute boss asking... I don't give a fuck if your boss is cute or not. They know how valuable they are. That They know how valuable you are. And they have not been acknowledging it. But they have been acknowledging it sort of subvertedly by all the work that they're giving you. It is time for you to ask for a raise because they can't get through this shit without you. And that's what you see clearly. You see clearly the opportunity that is now presented to you because of the shitty way they're treating you. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. There you go. Um, what is this, um, be here now, be in the present moment? Why is that on its side? What's going on with that? <laughs> Queen of Wands, you don't have creative freedom, but you can have it. You want creative freedom. You want more freedom. You want to be out there. This is also somebody, this is somebody who's extremely attractive, but doesn't know it. My neighbor can cook so fucking good and every fucking time I smell this adobo coming into my house or sasson or something like that, I cannot handle it. It smells so good, Virgo. I, it's crazy. This person is very attractive, but they're not necessarily aware of it or you didn't realize how attracted somebody was to you or how attracted somebody finds you. You better let me know because this is juicy shit. Um, or you didn't realize somebody else was attractive until now. Now you're just starting to finally see how fucking cute they are. Ooh, okay, Virgo. Hold on. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> the plot freaking thick, thickens. The plot, what's in the pot is thickening because you keep on stirring that pot. Oh, damn, Virgo. Oh, this is interesting. Andromeda. 
this is almost feeling like an alien in your own skin. This is a sense of feeling like you've never been here before. This is, this is strange ground for you. Yes. That's what this is. You, this is, this is, it's shocking almost. It's odd. Or it, this could be describing the person. Like somebody, somebody is odd. They're different, which is why they fascinate you so much. They have different perspectives, different point of view. It could even be somebody that is foreign who is, who we're talking about. That could be a hint to who they are, but ultimately this is unique. It's, it's, it's a unique, maybe opportunity. Maybe your uniqueness is really being <laughs> undermined, but really appreciated. Um, I want to dig down deeper into what this is, but it is the energy of sort of feeling like a stranger in a strange land. You've never been here before, but it could be the biggest adventure of your life. Let's go to the extended. I will see you guys there.